The following videos were filmed on November 17th, 2022, the same day that a DEA-led task force tried to plant fabricated evidence on me outside my storage unit in Hollywood. Just weeks earlier, on October 14th, I was arrested at my house in Hollywood by cops from Ventura County. They didn't find anything at all when they executed their search warrant, nothing incriminating whatsoever. Despite this, they took me to Ventura County Jail. I was booked and posted bond immediately. I called the bondsman. My bond was set at $50,000, so I transferred $5,000 from my debit cards to them, and I was released from jail just hours later. When I got home, I noticed that my MacBook and camera were left undisturbed on the bedroom floor. Even though the search warrant allowed them to take all of our devices, they left those things undisturbed. In hindsight, this is probably because they were more useful as far as spying on us than anything else. And my MacBook was already full of spyware, which a police informant had put on the computer. So they knew that there was nothing of value to them and that seizing it wouldn't do them any good. When we left our house the following day, we found ourselves being stalked and harassed by droves of undercover and plainclothes police. As soon as we walked out the front door of our house, we were confronted by a plainclothes cop who was sitting in his car, flipping us off and filming us with his cell phone. And he proceeded to follow us down the street and then other cops took over for him and they would just basically drive around us in circles and stalk us everywhere we went. They weren't discreetly surveilling us from a van somewhere to gather intelligence. They were trying to harass us and put pressure on us. One of the cars that they used to do this was a Tesla that had a vanity plate that said surveillance on it. They had a never ending fleet of unmarked or undercover police vehicles. They started following us everywhere we went 24 seven. They would try to entrap us sometimes dozens of times a day. Do you want to buy Fetty? Do I want to buy Fetty? What are you recording for? What? What? Why are you recording me? Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why not, bro? Why are you recording me, bro? Bro, why are you asking me if I want to buy Fetty? What? I'm asking you. You do Fetty, that's why. No, nah, dude. Don't. Can you, can you have the right to record me? Yeah, yeah fucking do. They would try all sorts of ridiculous schemes to lure me into some kind of drug transaction and then trap me in some way, and none of them worked. So they started trying to plant evidence on me. On October 23rd, my MacBook was stolen off of my person along with my backpack, wallet, cash, and some other items in Venice Beach. At the time, I didn't think law enforcement would ever do something like that. In fact, this is a flyer I made that I put up around the neighborhood that it was stolen in, offering a no questions asked reward for my MacBook. At the time it was stolen, I had just changed all my passwords after being arrested and they were written on a post-it note and stuck to my MacBook's keyboard, giving whoever stole it full access to my computer and all of my accounts, everything like that. On November 16th, we were being stalked extremely aggressively by uh, local and federal cops. We had moved all of our things into a storage unit in Hollywood because after I had been arrested, we were evicted from the house we were living in for several years. What the DEA's plan was, they wanted us to believe that our storage unit was being robbed or burglarized. On the 16th, they used a car with a vanity plate that said COVID on it. On the 17th, they had some undercover cops stage a burglary in front of us. And then they had another undercover cop approach us and, you know, tell us that all of his shit had been stolen from his storage unit, whatever. Hey, hey man, did y'all see uh, somebody with a, like a Santa Claus blanket with a court with a bunch of shit on it? Took a lot of my stuff, all my leather shit, all, oh, took a lot shit. of shit. That probably means they took in a lot of our yeah. shit, right? Huh? What you mean I'm a cop? I'm a father. If I was the police, I would've came up and told you. That's what they supposed to do. And then they had the Ventura County deputy who, in the parking lot of my storage unit, beat me up for filming him. I'm gonna bust you upside your head, homie. Get your fucking, get your fucking phone off of me, man. Get the fuck away from me, bro. Hey, bro, get the fuck away. From me. Did you hear me? Yo, get the fuck. Get your away from phone off me. And then he, I guess, got the green light. He waited 20 minutes for his confidential informant to arrive, and then he grabbed the backpack from underneath the bush in front of extra space. Inside the backpack unbeknownst to me at the time, 
was my laptop. It was set up in his backpack so that it was literally sticking out of the bag that he grabbed. And then he led us down Vine Street to a group of uniformed LAPD cops who weren't wearing their body cameras. They took them off just for the occasion. We told them that we had just been assaulted by this guy who I knew at the time was an undercover cop, but I wasn't sure how they were trying to set me up. And immediately they started questioning him saying, oh, what, is that your laptop or, or is that your backpack? Well, we need to verify that it's yours. And they were asking him to verify that it was his. All the while, my snitch friend is telling me, that's your laptop, that's your laptop, dude. What's that you have? You have looks like another backpack. Is this your computer? What? They both of mine! Is it your computer? Hey, we're gonna look at it when we verify it's yours, we'll give it back. I'm telling you it's mine! We're not here to take your stuff. Sir, I'm telling you it's mine. He, he assaulted us, we have it on video. Just step back and give me a little bit of space, okay? I had no idea that it was my MacBook until I was reviewing the footage the day after and I checked my Apple IDs, find my app, and sure enough, it was my fucking laptop. At first, when I had heard all of this, I, I thought that they were trying to plant drugs on me somehow. Like, I thought there would be a bunch of drugs in his bag and since they had my wallet and my driver's license and whatever, they would, you know, try to say that all the contents inside of the bag were mine. But while I was speculating as to what they could have been up to with a police informant, she blurted out in an accusatory way that there was child porn on my MacBook. <laughs> and at the time it went right over my head. But then the same thing happened with an undercover cop weeks later. And you know, then I started to think about it a little bit. And it, it wasn't until December 13th we had gone to the office of the inspector general in downtown Los Angeles to file a complaint about all the police misconduct we'd been experiencing. And the police retaliated by planting evidence on us again. This time they left a box of fabricated evidence right by where they knew we'd be charging our phones over by Universal Station. And inside the box, one of the more sinister looking items was a flash drive with its USB port broken off of it. When uh, somebody saw my video and informed us that they had put a flash drive in there with its USB port broken off of it, I immediately knew, wow, they uh, tried to plant child porn on me. And it kind of makes sense because child porn is a federal crime. I guess it's a lot easier to throw a flash drive on somebody and bring federal charges on them than it is to do, you know, real police work. The group within the DEA that was responsible for all this is the DEA Special Operations Division. They're known for setting up elaborate ruses in order to violate people's constitutional rights or get around probable cause. They actually use Darth Vader as a kind of symbol or a mascot, I guess. And they literally refer to themselves as uh, the dark side or the evil DEA. And that's because of a process they call parallel construction in which they have to rediscover evidence because a, a lot of it comes from illegal NSA wiretaps. And since they can't, you know, bring that evidence to court because it's illegal, they have to rediscover it, which usually they use like a, a local cop to figure out a way to turn a stop into a search, then discover, you know, whatever drugs they were trafficking or whatever. Trevor Aronson has a great article on them called Welcome to Law Enforcement's Dark Side, Secret Evidence, Illegal Searches, and Dubious Traffic Stops. And in this article, he details a situation which is very much like the elaborate ruse that the police set up in order to try to frame me. Here's an excerpt from the article. An egregious example of this law enforcement tactic occurred in 2004 when, through intercepted phone calls and their own subsequent surveillance, the DEA discovered that Ascension Alvarez Tejada was transporting drugs from Los Angeles to Washington State in his car. To search the vehicle without revealing the phone calls as their original source, DEA agents set up an elaborate ruse. Alvarez Tejada and his girlfriend were stopped at a traffic light. As the light turned green, the car in front of them started to move and then stopped quickly. Alvarez Tejada braked in time, but a truck rear-ended him. As Alvarez Tejada inspected the damage, police arrived and arrested the truck driver for drunk and driving. Officers instructed Alvarez Tejada and his girlfriend to drive their car to a parking lot, leave the keys in the car, and sit in the police cruiser for processing. Just then, a car thief jumped into Alvarez Tejada's car and drove off. Police recovered the car, obtaining a search warrant, and found cocaine and methamphetamine inside. Other than Alvarez Tejada and his girlfriend, every person involved in this piece of theater was a DEA agent or local police officer. The person driving the car in front of Alvarez Tejada's, the drunk truck driver, even the supposed car thief so yeah I mean it's the <laughs> this is the kind of shit they like to do 
you know, and I'm sure it's a lot of fun for them. Also, thank you to everyone who subscribed this past couple of weeks. We've gone from 2,500 subscribers about to uh, we're coming up on 25,000. So it's really amazing. We're really stoked and we really appreciate it. So yeah, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, this is what it's like to be set up and nearly framed and beaten by a DEA-led task force. Of course. You see anyone leave with a, a dog at all? Not taking pictures of me. Okay. He's got a good reason to be camera shy. He's a Ventura County cop that's part of a DEA task force, and he's going to try and plant my own MacBook on me. The same MacBook that was stolen off of my person weeks earlier while the police were stalking us across town in Venice Beach. This is my Apple ID's Find My App, placing my MacBook at extra space long after the theft occurred in Venice. The undercover cop is pretending to be a burglar who's robbing my storage unit, but because I was filming everything, he ends up beating me repeatedly. He then waits 20 minutes for his informant to arrive before grabbing my MacBook from underneath a bush in front of extra space and then leading us to a group of senior LAPD officers in Hollywood and Vine. Sir, okay. Okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time and I'm gonna sock you in your face. Cut your fucking phone off of me. Oh, look, it's Celia. Luz and I are across the street from Extra Space watching the parade of cops that were circling around us when we noticed that my Ukrainian friend Ilya had arrived. Since my arrest a few weeks earlier, we had been learning that pretty much all of our friends were confidential informants that were working with the police. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'd soon find out that Ilya is also an informant. Hey, I am Robert. I am Robert. Because they're fucking dollar store earbuds, you know what I mean? Fucking. Who? This guy's a cop? On the, in the wheelchair? Who well, they all are, yeah. Uh, Why do you look different? Fluz is watching the undercover cop that will beat me in an hour and try to plant evidence on me act shifty from behind the gated extra space as if he's a burglar. There's something different about you. Take off your beanie. Why are you all bundled up? It's not that cool. You're from Russia. It's great. cool to fuck. He looks different. Why would we, I know. He does. Extensions? Extensions. Yes. Come here. It's fake. Like, why is your hair all nicely done? Did they pay for that? That's so fucking weird, dude. Hair, makeup. So no. what's up, dude? Are they you? No, I'm just pushing shit and uh, you're selling this to uh, MacArthur Park. That's, that's how I make mine. Why would you say that, though, I if there are cops all around us? I don't give a fuck. It's weird. Because fucking like... He looks oddly healthy, though. Yeah, I know. Because uh, fucking... I'm not hanging out with you and, 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 I'm, and I <laughs> sleep every day. I'm sure. Because, yeah... Ksenia's oh, a real treat. Oh, Why are you rolling up with an earbud in your ear, guy? Where are they all going? Because I fucking want to listen to you're, music. You're so full of shit, dude. It's so sad. Like, we really like you. Dude. Like, I really, really tried. You so nice you guys you. You're so shady. You guys, so you, you, you guys weird if you, if you all think that I fucking... Look at you, you're showing off all this new gear that you just... New gear, to yeah. I, fa I fucking just walk, walked out from Ross in, 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 in that shit. <laughs> like, come on. Like, fuck. This shit I found in the trash. Make sure that's not from storage. Yeah. This shit I stole Do from fucking uh, dollar, dollar tree. So, and look, and look what I well, the police have been going into my storage unit illegally. They're surrounding us too, as if we didn't notice. 
Well, where are they? Well, no, no, they're surrounding you while you're in there as if you're doing something. It's like, hello, we are fucking homeless. I'm homeless. They've made fucking sure that. No, 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 you just invited us to a pool party at your and Ksenia's place. Yeah, Ksenia's place. Mm. Not my place. Weird. Well, it's just everywhere we go, people keep on getting me to, uh, or trying to get me to sell drugs to them as if I'm a drug dealer. Do I want to buy Fetty? It's very weird. Show me his face. Show me his face. No, they don't show their face. That's just it. That Some just, do. That just looks like a guy from fucking, like, uh, no, no, Metro. There's a band playing with sheriffs surrounding them on Vine where they dropped my bus off. Not over here, where I was supposed to get off. They neglected to even let that stop beep. It would not hit request. And I turn around, and they're all just smiling at me. These are the same cops who will try and help plant evidence on me in just a few hours. The day before I had tried busing at the same exact spot to make us some extra money, and I'm sure they thought it would be funny to put on a show of their own. But I love Where's tonight's parade going, guys? Where are we going? Can I see your phone, Ilya? What is that? The fucking fish eye for the phone. Oh, I see. Okay. You know, like that, I, like that, I, I can see better, you know? Oh, that's a tough book. Almost definitely. This is another undercover cop. He's going to try to make us believe that burglars are robbing our storage units, but they're actually just the police. My girlfriend has a storage locker at the extra space location that's on the other side of the block, but it's totally separate from the one we're in front of right now. Hey, hey man, did y'all see uh, somebody with a, like a Santa Claus blanket with a court with a bunch of shit on it? No. Nah. Like or something? It took a lot of my stuff, all my leather shit, all, oh, took a lot shit. of shit. That probably means they're taking a lot of our shit, right? Huh? Uh, what? Are you a cop? My name is Michael Calhoun. I was, I'm homeless around the corner. So you're a cop? What do you mean I'm a cop? I'm a father. Right, what's that? If I was the police, I would have came up and told you. That's what they're supposed to do. No, so they come up and say, oh, right. sir, I'm working with the police department. Oh, I'm a done. detective. Ha <laughs> then, see? So, okay. <laughs> That's what they would say, okay? When you get to be 61, know you'll know what they say. Like, when somebody want to kick your ass and shit like that, like, I'm asking you about some items. Now they took all, They took all my shit. Where did I go, guys? And nobody know what happened to them. But everybody That's got their shit. You know? That's, That's the but, but, the but, but if I was the police, then what? Don't hide. You gonna leave? I got you. I'm just saying, you know, you can break all the laws you want. The police don't care. He's like fucking divergent. What the fuck is going on? I'm calling you No, the police do not care. He's hiding his face. See, because you know why they don't care? You know why they don't care? Because you're going to get out anyway. One of the many ways that the police were gaslighting us that night was they were driving around these AMDA vans in circles around us. But, uh, like I said, y'all didn't see anything, right? Did anybody push no, in the car? No, I did see something, yeah. actually, yeah. Uh, did you know which way they went? Yeah, they went that way, man. And I filmed it. That way, so I'm going to go that way, David. You go that way. They obviously went in No, nah, I just want to film the exit well, of the fucking storage I don't know, I saw some guy now. inside the gate hiding. Yeah. Like he was stealing a lot of shit. Yeah, right there on the left. Right, that's what I'm saying. That, that was my stuff down there, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, we just like well, that. okay, check this out. See this building here? Yeah. This is the whole block. The whole building is a block. It's a storage. You got the same thing on the other side, but it's the bridge. So it's this bridge right here. See this bridge, the one on one, it connects it. It goes up under it. It's lower. When you go around it, it's the same bridge. And it's, you know, it's got cameras. I, I need to go in there and find out. But, you know, I just made it back. I just went to Union Station and came back. You know what I'm saying? This is... Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah, it's normal. Hurry up. They're gone. They fucking get what they needed to do. Well, yeah. Well, I need to find because all my stuff is in there. Why are you still working? Why are you still there? Huh? Yeah, you guys? No, me. No, me. I'm trying to find out who's going to step up. Because somebody... This is the third time it happened. They took all my stuff. You know? And, uh... 
and I, I don't understand it, but this time it's going to be no ramification. It's just going to be like interesting. Hollywood is real interesting. It's different. It's a little different. But somebody boldly took my stuff. And again, the people who's witnessing it is not saying anything. And then half of the people, I'm feeding, I'm feeding them, I'm helping them. They ask me for money and everything. I, I you know, I'm on top of my dad. This whole thing feels like a fucking diversion. Or as I would put it, a diversion. Well, next thing you know, they're gonna say all the shit in my storage unit. The stuff I have to sell to hire a good lawyer. Why, why Everything you, like that is going to be know, stolen I, now no, by no, police. I understand, I understand that like, this shit kind of looks weird, but you no, know, you have like the like, like, first time in the lake. Bro. Like, you know, it's also. Fun. There have been. Uh, there, I'm sure you're aware of this, but there's been a fucking parade of like a hundred some people. And yesterday I caught some fucking cops. Being all sneaky in my storage unit. Looks like someone's finally leaving, so let's go into the storage unit and see what's going on. Allegra! See, uh, there are all these, like, cops running around, and they're, like, uh, trying to get into my storage unit. Say it again. Never mind. Um, uh, okay. You, you guys can't, like, you can't be on the property right now. You okay. have to, like, you only have access to move out. Okay. All right. Okay. Mexico or something, and then they're, they're going to pull me over and be like, we got it, we finally got it, you know? And then, uh, uh, that, okay. that's what, that. What is this but it's all just bullshit. What's up, babe? Yeah, I know. It's okay. It's not that. No, 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 no. It's not that. Hey. No, stop it. Hey. Why are you kicking me up there with them there? There's a fucking wagon just sitting there full of a ladder and some boxes and stuff that would be in storage. There's a U-Haul there. It's all a distraction. So what are they trying to fucking do? Like, really? What are they trying to fucking do? Are you right? Take me no, I don't know, but I need to be part of it. Let's go tell the guy and we'll go fucking, uh, we'll go, we'll go tell him that we fucking accidentally left our dog inside. Fuck it. And then it's like, you're already you can do it. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. We're not gonna lose you now. We're not gonna lose you now. It's so you you're not gonna lose him, it's okay, right? Thank you. Yeah, okay. So people out just around with me and someone builds me like, hey, you know, look down there. There's not a wagon full of stuff that was stolen. That guy was talking to you about all this shit that was stolen. This is so late. Well they've been trying to steal my dog from me. Because they know that's what will really like break us. This is the first time I've really, like, cried. Uh, well, I think they should just give one of to your dog because it's a big dog. No, I know, it's not that. They're trying to do something else. I don't know what. Where's your dog? In the unit? Where's, where's your dog? Let's go take her from there. She can't, she can't be there. Dude. It's not, it's... Dude, it's fucked up. It's not fucked up. No, it's really fucked up. No, dude, she was exhausted. She's fucking. I was talking about, oh, you if know, they it's stole it. No, I'm gonna. They're fucking not, David. They're everybody. trying to say like you stole this and you stole that or something. You know, like they're trying to fucking frame you. Well, 
owner's just part of it because that's what's going to break us both. What have I stolen? Nothing. But you know, like, they don't give a fuck. So they want to say that you square. We need to take clothes from there. No, I know. Like, uh, I, I, would, I was only going to leave her there for a bit because uh, she was exhausted and she has a bed there and it's like warmer, you know? Right. So so occasionally, like I'd leave her like at night and come back for a thing in the morning. But but is it even allowed? Ilya encourages me to go check on our dog Luna alone. When I enter the parking lot, I'm confronted by this camera shy undercover cop. Sir, I'm, okay. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time, and I'm gonna sock you in your face. Cut your fucking phone off of me. He starts hitting me and the camera cuts out briefly. Here, he's knocking on the night manager's door because the night manager is a CI working for the police. Please, get your camera out of my face, homie. I'm not, I'm not playing. I'm gonna bust you upside your head, homie. Get your fucking, get your fucking phone off of me, man. Get the fuck away from me, bro. Hey, bro, get the fuck away. Did you hear me? Yo, get the fuck get away. Get your phone off me. All right, bro, all right. All right. Cut it off. Okay. It's off. Hey, hey. Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm getting my fucking dog. Bro, stop fucking assaulting me right fucking now. Get your phone off of me, homie. Then stop assaulting Get your phone off of me, homie. Get the fuck away from me. Get it off of me. Get the fuck away from me. Get out. No! Sir! I'm a mule kick you, homie. Get out of here. Bro, I just want my dog. That's it. Get out of here. I just want my dog. Get out of here. I just want my dog. Get out of here. I just want my dog. I told you to get the camera off of me. Yo, bro, I just want my dog. Stop you hitting me. I was left with a severe concussion and still experience hearing loss to this day. So what, if you smoke cigarettes, then you smoke fentanyl. That makes zero sense. As I'm being assaulted, Ilya is keeping flues that around the corner away from me. Like we're rich? No. Like, like, or drug dealers? Drug addicts. Okay, drug addicts. That's different from drug dealers. Drug addicts don't. So they them. was asking you to get some or to buy? No one's asking us to get some. In hindsight, I'm sure that if I had noticed the car that Flues is pointing out to me, a narc would have jumped out and grabbed my MacBook from underneath this bush, and then they would have led us to the LAPD. It was on that truck! What the fuck just happened? Uh, what? I you, my dog you, and you were, fucking just beat the shit out of me. Uh, I don't know who to call, David. I called the police already and an ambulance is on its way. I'm so concussed, dude. I can't even fucking see straight. Dude, where's her leash? I, I couldn't get it. I didn't even know we could do it. Just grab the first one and be fine. I was trying to go up and grab the dog, and then this guy just started beating my ass on video. Dude, it's the security dude got I filmed it, yeah. Where are they? I don't know. No one's around now. Why? Like, literally, why is no one around? Like, I saw this asshole walking that dog, so what does that mean? Someone said, license plate, bye, see ya, 500. Dude, why did the truck just drive away with a bunch of storage shit on it? Like, what is this shit? Like, David, this is their 
grandpa did? Like, I don't understand. I just don't get what this is. Hold on, hold on, here. Give me the phone. Since I didn't notice the car driving off with what looked like our stuff, after Ilya arrives, the cop is given the green light to grab my MacBook before leading us to the LAPD who are waiting on Hollywood and Vine. Bro, bro, stop! How are you gonna just stop beat right somebody now. up like that, bro? Stop! I said stop! Stop! Fuck you! What you gonna do, bitch? I fuck you up, bro! Do it! Don't hit do the first, Ilya! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it, bitch! Don't, don't fuck him up. Yeah, Just stay for the cops. They're coming, they're coming. They're coming, they're right there. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, asshole. Fuck you. What you gonna do? Watch out! Bro, stop right here. Man, you better get the fuck away from me. Where the fuck all the cops at? If you don't get the fuck away from me, police! Okay, you gonna fuck me up? You really think so? Do you think I'm not? You fucking use a Satan, bitch! I wish. like a real cop, huh? Get up off me! Get up off of him. You're the one that's just beat him up. What the fuck are you doing, man? Where are the police? We need help! Look, telling you to go about your business. No, I'm telling you, bro. We're gonna sue the fuck out of you. Fuck you. Homie, go about your business. You can't just fucking Call beat cops, me up, bro. assault me and shit. Fuck you. Call cops. Call them. Yeah, we already did. Whoa. He is a cop, really, yeah? He can do shit, bro. He is a fucking cop. He leads us right to the LAPD band that had been performing on Hollywood and Vine just moments earlier. Notice how none of these senior LAPD cops are wearing their body cameras. They took them off just for the purpose of setting me up. He, we have it on film. He just beat the shit out of us. He just beat us up. This guy, right here. This guy, this, this guy right here. He beat me up. We have it on the video. Relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax. 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 Thank you, guys. Relax. Wait. Relax. 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 I'm telling you, it's mine. Oh, he he assaulted us. We have it all on video. Just step back and give me a little bit of space, okay? 
When it became clear to the police that the evidence planting wasn't successful, they sent in a group of cops who were wearing their body cameras to take my statement. I told them I wanted to press charges and the police pretended to take the undercover cop into their custody. When I was in the hospital being treated for my injuries, Officer Solorzano called me, threatening me with arrest, saying that they were going to consider it mutual combat. I told him that I had a lot of evidence to the contrary, but that I was willing to go to jail as long as the cop who assaulted me was also charged. It's now been a year since all this happened, and we're still followed around and harassed by undercover cops wherever we go. They regularly try to steal our last remaining devices and make life in general very hard for us. If you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate how much our channel's grown these past few weeks. It helps us very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll text number. you the link. Can we do it right now, though? Okay, just hold on then. Okay, Thank okay, you. Okay. I really appreciate it. I just had a lot of weird things going on with my phone lately, and I just don't want to, you know, okay. take any chances on anything yeah, weird happening yeah, in the video, yeah. you know? Really weird stuff, you know? Yeah. Alright, you're gonna hang with these guys, okay? We'll take care of you. Okay, thanks guys. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hey, uh, Ilya, can you get a Can you get her to come with me? Yeah. Yeah, go get her, man. Thank you. Looks like going in? Yeah, yeah, we're going in. Yeah, for sure. What happened? No, uh, this guy just assaulted me. It's the weirdest out of, thing. Out of nowhere? Yeah. Just stand there and... Yeah, I had the video. I backed it up onto this other phone just in case. Because, you know, you never know. But, uh... Uh, yeah, I was just standing there, and then this guy started getting all aggressive with me for being in my own storage unit. And then he starts uh, just uh, like, bu just beating the shit out of me, man. That's not good. Not good at all, right? You took a video of it? Yeah. A bit of the whole thing happening, yeah. Let me see it. Yeah. Let me see what happened. Yeah, well, right now I'm still filming, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm waiting for her to send a link to me so I can get it going. I don't know why she won't. It seems like I can't get anyone to send me a link to get this video out there, you know? I've been asking like four or five different cops and their badge numbers of the cops who fucking so witnessed the, the video. Sir, they have a process that they have to do, so they're trying to figure it out here. They're not. Okay, just because I, you know, definitely want to take this guy to court. Yeah, it's yeah, weird well, as hell. Do they have the, the guy in custody? Yeah, they're supposed to, but, uh, right. you know, I, I just. Uh, so you want to go over to the hospital? Yeah, definitely. What's going on? Definitely. I've got a concussion. Uh, my jaw needs to be looked at. Uh, what do you do? Hit you with a closed fist or with the object? Closed fist, his boots, uh, yeah. Kicked you? Yeah, he kicked, kicked me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he kicked me right up the head, man. Hey, you, you, you get out. No, I take a look? Move yeah. A bit. Okay, yeah. So. Oh, a little bruised. Yeah. How many times do you think? Uh, he probably hit me uh, seven, eight times, I think, at least. Yeah. I don't I, It's fucking weird, man. You don't have any medical problems? Not, not right now. Just, if you have any problems, I'm over here right across by Sugar Shack. My name is Howard. If you have any problems and stuff, I'm right over there across from Sugar Shack. I'm a tour guide. Oh, okay. But I've been with LAPD, you know, helping them out for like 10 years. Okay, Howard. Right, All right, for sure. All right, man. Yeah, hey, thanks, buddy. Yep. Yeah, it's weird. None of these guys give me their... Yeah. They're done handling their stuff. All right. Try again. Hey, officer? Excuse me? Yes. Do you think since I showed you that video, I could get your badge or your card and your uh, uh, badge number? I'll get you a business card. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. No Give me just a minute. Let me find one. Okay. Yeah, man. This guy just fucking beat the shit out of me out of nowhere. Oh. Okay. I'm sure the security cameras at the the extra space caught it too. So, I mean, they should be on. No reason for them not to be. All right, sir. Well, we've got to get you going to the hospital, so... Okay, let's go. All right, all right. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot the card. The, guy, the, off, the officer is going to give me his card. It's really important to me that I get that, you know? It's very well, important. It's very important that we get you to the hospital and check out. I know. Offic officer, uh, would you mind giving me your card? Oh, thank you, sir.
I appreciate you. Good lesson though tonight. Like, don't mess with that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to mess with anything. I'm just saying, like, I've on video. This guy just fucking came out of nowhere and fucking started punching and kicking me, right? You find, you find problems. Nice to meet you, sir. All right, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you can go the other way. When they, I, when dude, I was trying to go to my storage unit and this guy just starts punching and kicking me in the face. <laughs> 